Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Anna here. I'm back. I'm sorry I didn't do a video for you guys yesterday. I was um, at an event in London on the weekend. If you didn't see my um, video, I did on Saturday. And I yesterday I had to sort of check out of my hotel, and I was a bit anxious about carrying my bag and where I was going to put my bag at the events and all of that sort of stuff. So that kind of took up my mental headspace and um, I decided to skip the video. Um, so I just thought I'd give you guys a little update on my experience this weekend. And um, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Um, I kind of want to say like everybody should go to like a Joe Dispenser event, but I also think that it's one of those things if somebody had told me to go like a year ago even, um, I maybe wouldn't have got as much from it as what I got this weekend just because of where I'm at in my own sort of personal development. But it was amazing. And just really interesting thing was that the usually I find at least when you go when I go to an event or I do some traveling or I head down to London, um, I usually find like I'm sitting on the train coming home and I'm just really, really tired and exhausted and can't wait to get home and can't wait to get to my bed. Um, and this was like actually a completely different experience. So yesterday, I think we meditated. I have no idea how long we meditated for because um, I, wasn't, I wasn't timing it. And you do sort of really go deep and lose track of time. But I think it must have been about three hours. So we did three hours of meditations yesterday amongst the workshop. And, um, and it was like my energy was just increasing and increasing as the event continued as opposed to decreasing and decreasing as the event continued and then the really funny thing was um i had to get the train at clapham junction back to bournemouth last night and i had got the train from imperial wharf and the train from clapham junction was leaving at three minutes past seven and i think i got in from imperial wharf at seven o'clock one minute to seven and i had to change platforms and get on a new train and um, the train that I got on was like a little sardine tin. So everybody was just like rammed into the train. I was the last person to get on. I literally had to squeeze in. And it was so funny being on the train. And everybody was, I, you can completely imagine everybody was tired. They were grumpy. They were like waiting. They just wanted to get home. Now they realize they're going to have to stand for like half an hour to an hour. Um, because the train was full. And I just got on the train and I was like just feeling so good and so happy and just wanted to smile at everyone. It was like a completely different energy um, to the energy of everybody else on that train. It was good for me, maybe not so good for everyone else. Um, so yeah, I got back home at like 10 o'clock last night and I was just feeling good. Um, so it really was amazing. Yeah, it was a really amazing experience, a really amazing event. Um, I met some really lovely people um, and yeah, I just... It, it just, it's so crazy now for me to think that I wasn't going to go because I was too tired and I was too busy. And really what I was doing was too busy um, repeating the same behaviors that were just making me tired and, and not serving me. So um, I did say this in the video the other day, but, you know, there's one of the um, things at this event is sort of this... I want to say mental rehearsal, but it's not mental rehearsal, it's emotional rehearsal. Teaching your body what it feels like to feel how you want to feel. So essentially choosing your emotional state. And, um, you know, a lot of things we do is that we're too busy. <laughs> we say we're too busy to choose our emotional state. So, you know, we're too busy being busy to choose happiness. We're too busy being busy to choose joy. We're too busy being busy to, um, what are the other nice ones, to feel confidence or enthusiasm or love of life. Um, and we're basically essentially being too busy creating a future that we don't want for ourselves or a way of being or a way of being, way of being a way of feeling that we don't want for ourselves. Um, so... This morning, um, after, well, after, because we did so much meditation on the event, I thought, I, because I used to do meditation every morning for a bit, and then I kind of fell out of the habit, as you do, and I'm sure everybody comes back from a Joe Dispenza event, and, um, 
and goes, oh, I'm going to meditate every single day. Um, so, um, you know, <laughs> that's probably, you know, the post-event enthusiasm, but that is a commitment I'm going to be making now um, going forward is to do a little meditation every day just to make that time to reconnect with the feeling that I want to feel. Because um, as you guys know, I've been coming on these um, Facebook Lives. Sorry, I've got so much hair on my face. Um, <laughs> I've been coming on these Facebook Lives, and I've often said to you, oh, I'm feeling tired, I've been working hard, um, my neck has been in a lot of pain. And it was, again, really interesting to notice, you know, sitting in a chair for the whole weekend, sitting down, meditating, sitting down as well on a chair, um, usually by the end of the weekend, I'd have a lot of neck pain and I'd be like, Ugh, uh, uh. um, and my neck is just great. It's, I've just got no pain. So, um, yeah, that's the commitment I'm going to be making going forward is just making some time to get into that headspace every day. And I've already done it this morning, which is why this video is later than it would have been. I have been sitting here. This is my little yoga bolster. So I've been sitting on that for the past 40 minutes this morning, um, just doing a really, really nice meditation. And now I'm going to have my coffee. And um, I did actually plan to take today off work um, because I expected I would feel really tired and zoned out and just need a little bit of space today. But I'm feeling really good. And it's a beautiful day. It's a lovely day today, beautiful morning. Look at that sky. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good, and I'm sorry if, I guess it's Monday, so maybe this will help inspire you guys to feel good on, Monday, on your Monday morning. Um, but yeah, so the question is, is what are you, when you say you're too busy, have a little think about what you're too busy doing. And if all that stuff is keeping you, is keep, all that stuff that is keeping you busy is just keeping you in a place you don't want to be. Because the longer you pay attention to that stuff and the longer that you continue to use that stuff as an excuse not to change, you will just continue to produce the same results. So that is something to think about this Monday morning. Um, have a look on the page later. I did a podcast last week with Vanessa French of V Fit, Vanessa French Fitness. I'm all talking about gut health. Um, so I'll be sharing the link to that a little bit later um, when I work out how. So keep a lookout for that. And other than that, just have an amazing week. Have an amazing Monday. And um, give me a shout. And um, let me know what you want me to talk about this week. Bye.